I, but I don't. But I don't drink anymore. I hump a lot. Do you guys hump? You guys hump, or you guys? It doesn't matter. I'm really good at it. I'm really good. It's one of my things. I have to be on top, though. I'm always on top. That way, it's easier for me to give high fives to the imaginary people in my room. Well, I'm up there. <laughs> I'm humping a smart guy now. Okay, smart. I have to preface that. My ex, my ex was an actor. Okay, right. We can all agree that that word is synonymous with high-functioning Down syndrome. <laughs> like, no, you can't spell quiche the way you think it sounds. <laughs> Fiji's not in Hawaii. I'm not having this argument again. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, oh, and. He, I just found out, so he's dating a model. Oh, but she's a writer, too. Okay, yeah, I know. <laughs> I just found out they moved in together. And I was like, I don't know. Like, all I can think about is the fact that, you know, she's going to be sleeping in the same exact bed that I used to pee all the time. <laughs> yes! <laughs> uh, sleep tight, dum-dums. I am, I'm humping, I'm humping this smart guy. He's smart, but he doesn't understand my alcoholism. He says stuff like, yeah, but you can still have like wine, right? Yeah, yeah sure, I can have wine, absolutely. You want me to pee my pants and have sex with your brother? Yes. <laughs> Let's get some wine, I don't know. But I like having sex with smart guys because um, they like to analyze the sex you have right after it's over. One time he looked at me and he goes, so uh, the hair pull, huh? Huh? <laughs> like that? I'm like, what? Do I like my hair pull? Whatever. Like, punch me in the face, spit in my mouth. Just stop looking me directly in the eyes, okay? <laughs> Don't do it. What are, they lo what are you looking at? It's like, you're making this so hard to pretend you're someone else. Do you know that? I like pumping. I did you guys did you guys this is just a random thing. Did you guys hear about that baby that that lady flushed down the toilet in China? Yes, yes you heard about that survived, lived for three days in that pipe. First of all, uh, you flushed a boy baby down in China. Those are good there. <laughs> right? Duh. And second of all, this thing was like a warrior baby. It survived for three days, like eating whatever was in a dirty pipe, getting more nutrients than it got from its whore mother. I mean, honestly. Oh but that was a warrior baby. <laughs> There's a moral there. Don't flush your don't flush your baby down the toilet. You'll <laughs> be screwed. I want to be on TV. I really do. I think the only way I'm gonna get on is if I can get on one of those intervention shows. Like, I'll have a relapse, right? You guys are all invited. <laughs> It'll be awesome. But the show that I like the best, it's called Addicted. Have you guys seen the show? It's on Netflix. Yeah? There's only one interventionist. She's just covered in iridescent lipstick all the time. It's like, it's like her magic power. They have one lady on that show I fucking love. It's this little southern lady, and she gets tuned up on nips in her car to work at a department store. <laughs> That's awesome. But they have this guy who sucks. All this guy does is pound a gallon of vodka, vomit, pass out, wake up the next day, pounds a gallon of vodka, vomits, passes out. I'm watching this, and I'm like, come on, buddy, get in your car. <laughs> right? This is TV. 